Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So today I've got two systems so yeah we're checking out those soon but before we start it is pretty crazy that this is now episode 60 of this series. I mean that is pretty crazy indeed so yeah today we've got two systems from Nika or Nika official now I think he changed his YouTube name um, oh yes, his, his YouTube name is now called Nicker Official. Okay, so yeah, um, we're gonna be checking out two systems of his today. So yeah, just damn though, it's crazy how we're on episode sixty now. But yeah, just a massive, massive thank you for everyone who has continued sending in systems for these videos because without you guys sending them in, this series wouldn't have gone anywhere. So yeah, pretty, um, pretty crazy indeed. And yeah, just a massive thank you to you all because it's um, absolutely amazing. We're on episode sixty now. Yeah, we're gonna be getting to episode one hundred this year, so we'll probably have to do something special for that. But um, yeah. So episode 60. So anyways, let's go into this. So the first system today is called the Julu system. So if we just go ahead and search it up. So so it's, um, if we're going to the search, J-Y-L. All right, so here we go. Let's see um, Let's see what Nick has got for us today. So here we go. All right. So how many objects have we got in here just out of random chance? 1,000 objects. All right. Is this like part of a giant? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Anything further out? All right. So let's start off with the very center object here. So, right here is Julu. So it's a um, brown dwarf by the look, oh, not a brown dwarf, red dwarf by the looks of it. There are its stats there, not very bright in size. Yeah, 0 0.7 suns. I guess it's bright for a red dwarf there. Right, so what have we got here? Okay, so first planet of the day, Rulu. So this is a green and, oh, I like the colors on that, I have to say. So this is Rulu. So, yeah, all green on the surface with a Neptune blue sort of color on the mid elevation and orange in the high elevation very interesting color indeed i'm like i like that a lot actually the blue and the green looks really really good together um and it's about the size of earth there uh, 80 degrees in temperature though so pretty hot all right so there's that right the next up we got Rasset over here and this i'm guess is where all the rings are i'm guessing so here it is here so this is um if this was a random spawn, that's a pretty nice random spawn. I mean, look at that. My original Planet 9, which none of you have ever seen, actually looks something like this. So it's, um, yeah, white, blue, white, blue, and then a bit of yellow in the south. But it's barely noticeable, so that is a very nice random spawn, if it was a random spawn, of course. And then it also has a moon of Dulu here. Oh, look at this. So this is a very um, dark object. Jeez, it looks pretty cool with the star there. Starlight, so it's like a dark sort of purple... I want to say is it it's more of a bluish purple it looks almost cloudy i think it's just because i think this is slightly tinted i want to say I, I definitely think that's tinted yeah yeah that's tinted all right because um it's pink even though the atmosphere is switched off so pretty cool indeed they're quite a nice ocean world i have to say they're minus six degrees so there there is that i like the color trail on it as well okay so there are those two there let's get a view of the um planet from the moon as well so it's landing this snow um up here or this ice um, let's have a look and there it is so looking pretty cool indeed you can't see much of the rings here there's the other planet and then there's the star all right so there are all of those all right so i think that's all of that for julu and then we've got this one more out here and this is kalu so here we go over here and this has a moon really close to it look at this tiny little asteroid here so we've got this one here and that there obviously they're just asteroids there's nothing really visual to look at so there are those two so is is that it is there, any, is there any more? Is there anything further out, maybe? It's got a thousand objects. If I delete those, you only have seven objects. So I've definitely checked everything in here. But yeah, that's that's that, that's it for the Julius system. So it's not really much in here. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe he didn't save it properly. Or maybe this is men, meant to be the completed product. I'm not sure. But he'll have to let me know in the comments there. But right, there is that. So that's the first system there. Yeah, it wasn't really much in there. It was short but sweet. All right, um, where are we heading next? So the next system, if I just look at it, it's called the Gark system. Okay, so, oops, open. So it's G-A-R. There we go. All right, so let's see what we got in here. I feel like I've seen a background like this before. But anyways, let's see um, what we got here. So here is Gark. So S1. All right, so I'm guessing this has a lot of objects. How many have we got in here? Um, by interest, anyway. Well, what have we got in here? So... Okay, 25 objects. Okay, so these look, seem to be quite short and sweet systems then. All right, so... Okay, so view settings. Let's go on orbit so we can see everything. All right, so here is our star. So let's turn off that. All right, so Gark S1. So here we go. So 9999, 9001 suns. 2AU in size, so pretty big. Four suns in mass as well. All right, so first planet. 
Looks like a Trays 2B sort of object. It's got an all black trail, as you can see there. Very um, interesting. You can barely see that trail. It's completely like invisible having it um, blacked out like that. But yeah, here it is here. So this, yeah, this definitely looks like a Trays 2B sort of object by the looks of it there. So yeah, no matter what you do, flashlight is dark. So that's that's a object that doesn't reflect a lot of light at all. So yeah, pretty cool indeed there. So there we go. Right, Gark R2. Ooh, look at the blue on this. Ooh. So here we go here. So it's an all blue rocky planet. Any atmosphere? No, no atmosphere on here, but yeah, there it is there. So yeah, there is Gark R2. Rightio. Right, next up we've got Gark R3. So this is a um ooh, a white atmospheric object. Okay, I know these are quite popular with some of you guys. So it's a white atmospheric object. There, and most I think it's all an ocean world. So if we look around the back. Yeah, all ocean. So there it is there. So cool. Alrightio. Looking good. Right. It's also got a few moons around it as well. They all look like they're orbiting in sync with each other almost. But their orbits are slightly different there. But yeah, there. So it's just a few asteroids. Rightio. That's where we're heading next. Next up, we've got Gark R2. Oh, I'm liking the look of this. Let's see what we got here. This looks quite cool. Right. So, ooh. Ooh, it's got loads of... I really like the picture up there. That looks cool. Alright, so let's um, go ahead and check the stats on this guy. What have we got on here? So 88.1, 35.8. Okay, not bad stats. It's got one little moon around it as well. Just another little asteroid there. I really like the way that looks, I have to say. Let's get a full look at this guy. So there it is there. Quite a realistic sort of colours to it, if you ask me as well. I think that looks really cool. Definitely a good job on that. I really do like that rocky planet there. Very, very nice indeed. Maybe an improvement to that would be to add the white atmosphere to it as well. Maybe just to give it those white clouds so they're sharp a bit more. But yeah, really, really nice job with that. All right, so Gark R2. Very nice. Um, next up, we've got Gark R5. So this is... Wait, R5? Oh, R4, it was Gark R4, sorry. All right, so now we're going on Gark R5. I hope I'm pronouncing that right as well. So yeah, there it is there. So Gark R5. So it's 11 degrees, but it's all frozen. So is this a victim of the frozen glitch, maybe? Since it's like that, it looks like it's got some colours on it. So they just buried under the water, or if we uh, do that. Okay, yes, it is, it is a frozen glitch. Okay, so if we just add and remove. So I'm guessing it's meant to look something like this. If we just uh, do it a few times, that fixes the glitch a bit. So let's just remove it. So it's meant to look something like this, I'm presuming. But sadly, it all freezes up. So if we go on flashlight, have a look around, or studio. So that's what it looks like. All right, cool. But if you just click play, it will just freeze up, which kind of sucks. Let's check the stats as well. 90 and 23. But if we just go play, it just freezes, which kind of sucks. So there we go. Wait, is it, hang on. Are we playing? Are we, are we playing right now? I'm paused. Huh. So it looks like it's staying like that now. That's uh, pretty weird. I can't see the universe sandbox tab very well because my toolbar, for some reason, my Windows toolbar is popping up. So I can barely see the buttons. I can click them. But it is plain at the moment. I can just see. But yeah, I have my I have my dang Windows toolbar blocking the sandbox toolbar, so I can't really see hardly what I'm clicking. So that's quite annoying. But I can just I can see it's playing right now on the recording software there. All right, so yeah, there is that. All right, so R5. Right next up, we got R6 here. So first gas giant, it looks like it. All right, there we go. So first gas giant there. It's tilted on its side like Uranus as well. Obviously, there's not really much to look at in these stats. So yeah, there it is. It's pretty big, 317 Earths as well. So there is that. So Gark R6. Next up we've got R7 over here. So this is a blue and yellow sort of object. Pretty nice as well for a random spawn. Um, that, that I'm assuming is a random spawn. So yeah, blue, light yellow, blue, light yellow. And then it goes white and then a, more of a golden yellow in the bottom there. But yeah, not bad. That's quite a nice random spawn as well. Um, so R7 one there. So that's an all frozen nice world. I think it's really see there. R7 two. That's a, it looks like Venus as well. Well, they've got the colours on that. Then we have R7 3, which is another frozen ice world. So there are those. Rightio. So next up we got R8 now. So this is another random spawn gas giant there. So yeah, pretty dark um, this far out in the system as well. But yeah, there it is nonetheless. So there we go. Right, next up we got R9. Another random spawn gas giant. We can just see him in the picture. So there we go. So that's a full look of it there. What's that giant orbit from? <laughs> I want to see what that's from. Okay, so it's R13 that's from. Okay, so that's R9. All right, R10. So another random spawn gas giant. So there it is there. All right. R11. So another random spawn. So just the regular colours again. So there is that. Next up we've got R12. Another random spawn. All right, no modded ones today. Because I know, I know he can mod, so... 
It's a little surprising how there isn't many modded objects in here. Um, the other one had that um, tinted one, but not much other than that. And then R13 is the last object in here, which is a rocky planet, which is pretty darn far out. I mean, let's um, check the... I want that one. There we go. It's a studio. So that's what it looks like. So interesting color choices. So it's a, a cyan with a red and like a yellow sort of um, color scheme to it. Looking pretty interesting color scheme. And these asteroids are unbelievably close to it as well. Let's get let's land on the surface and get a look at that. So there it is. So if we um, look up, there it is. Look at that. Imagine seeing that fly around all the time. <laughs> that's pretty close. Damn. All right. So there's that. And then we have one little more one there. All right. 166 meters. That thing's tiny. So, there we go. So, I think that is it for all of this now. Is that is that the last one? Um, that one. R13 was the last. Yeah, we've seen all of those. So, there we go. The only modded object in here was R1, I think. So, there's and the white atmosphere on R3 as well. But I think all the other ones are just random spawns. Oh, and we have this one out here as well. This is M1, so it's just an asteroid. But yeah, there we go. So that is that for the Gark system, guys. So there, let me know which system out of the two do you think was better. I'm pretty sure most of you probably say this one, though, since it probably it does contain a lot more objects, but that's just my thoughts. But yeah, there we go. So my favorite object in here is probably this one. I do like, I really like the color scheme on that. So yeah, that's my favorite in here. Gas Giants, it would be the um, Trace 2B one, since it's the only really modded one there. The other ones are all random spawns. So there is that. But yeah, there we go. So they're my favourites in here, guys. So let me know which system do you think was better out of these. And also, if you want to send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord server and send them on there, since that's the easiest place um, to um, contact me and all that good stuff. And obviously to um, talk with the other modders and anyone who um, you wish to help you with your systems. But um, yeah, there is all of that. All right, cool. So yeah, that is it for today's video. So let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video, guys, because it really, really helps the channel out a lot. And it's much, much appreciated. And also... I haven't actually mentioned this as well. We are about, tw yeah, we're 26 subscribers away from 6,000. So we are really close. We could get this tomorrow if um, things go well. So yeah, just a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently. Because it's absolutely amazing how far it has come now. And we're just about to get 6,000. We're probably days away from it. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Because yeah. Maybe you'll get subscribers 6,000. But, um, yeah, just a massive, massive thank you because it's absolutely amazing, guys. And, yeah, that is everything. So make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.